Yeah, so specifically, we're looking for data center to miss a little bit, probably about 20 million off, so we're somewhere around 650. We think gaming will be in line, 1.3 billion or so. We think they're going to benefit from probably 25 to 30 million, probably of uh, cryptocurrency-related uh, Ethereum mining revenue. And then finally, for the guidance, that's where we're ultra-focused. We think the expectations are already low for the July quarter, but for the guidance, anything close to in line, I think, will be enough, as long as the gross margins are close to 60 percent uh, for the guide. So in line is, is A plus, in your view, basically. I think inline is, is good enough at this point, considering that the results we saw from Intel, the, the results we saw from the other uh, IT uh, providers, even Cisco, for example. So expectations are definitely low. I would say this is essentially a consensus short into the print. Um, so if that's the case, it usually means expectations are well below uh, where the street is right now. Why has the stock suffered so much over the past year? Uh, so over the past year, it's primarily been to cryptocurrencies. They mm -hmm. talked to doing about 600 million in a total crypto revenue. We had a number of 1.2 billion. And so that number ended up causing a couple of negative pre-announcements uh, back in January and um, and uh, I think the October frame as well was a, was a negative guide down. And so now that you're going off the easier comparisons now, so that's completely out of the model, it should all be data center, uh, core gaming business, uh, switch revenue should come back as well. So I think all those things are going to start to work in its favor now that it's coming off of the, the lows from the cryptocurrency pull down. And what happens, Mitch, as the U.S.-China talks just kind of hang there uh, in the balance and these stocks are left uh, at the whims of them? Yeah, at the end of the day, you can't really do anything about what Trump's going to do or say or tweet or, you know, try to predict that. I think it's pretty much impossible. So all you can really do is wait for that to eventually get resolved. And at the end of the day, you want to be exposed to the best tech. So NVIDIA, AMD, for example, are two of the highest quality uh, tech names in semiconductors. So if you look over five years, you got to take the long term view. As long as you're bullish on AI, deep learning um, and the, the use of GPUs in the future, you have to be long NVIDIA. Um, so I'm not going to try to predict what Trump's going to do with the U.S. and China. But at the end of the day, as well for that one, um, if they actually get a, a resolution there, I wouldn't be surprised if the stock go up 10% or so. On NVIDIA, how, how important is the gaming business to them? I would say that the majority of the value is in data center. I'd say that 60% of the focus is going to be on data center and probably 30% on gaming and the other the remaining business, uh, the remaining business would be about 10%, primarily the auto business, but auto and self-driving vehicles doesn't start to the end of 2020 or so.